Hey, all electrical here. This is just a quick video of how to change your PowerPoint to a USB PowerPoint. Uh, the things you're going to need is a multimeter, just to check if your PowerPoint's dead, some electrical pliers, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. Okay? So, first step is to remove your old PowerPoint. But before that, you need to test if it's dead. So just grab your multimeter and put it on the AC symbol with the wave. Grab one pin, put it in your active. One pin, put it in your neutral. And then you should read 230 volts. All right. Now this PowerPoint's already off, okay? So I've got zero volts, which is good. But if you're reading 230 volts, you need to go to your switchboard and turn off your circuit breakers until you find this PowerPoint, all right? Once you read zero volts, another good check is to take it from your neutral, put in your active, and you should read zero. So if it's zero volts in active to earth, and zero volts active to neutral, that, mean, that means your PowerPoint's de-energized and safe to change. Okay, so first you want to do... Once your PowerPoint's dead, is remove the cover. Just be careful when you remove this cover because sometimes they paint around the cover. Just grab a blade and trim around it because you don't want the paint flaking off. Grab your Phillips head screwdriver and undo it. Okay. Once you've unscrewed your PowerPoint, you'll have your cables. All right. This PowerPoint, I've only got one cable, but you might have one, two, three, four, five cables. Okay. The more cables you have going into the terminals here, here and here, the harder it is to put them in and twist them and all that sort of stuff. All right. But I've only got one here. Um, so if you have more than one, just make sure when you take them out of these three terminals, um, the cables are, are twisted together nicely, okay, and then uh, there's copper uh, hanging out everywhere and whatnot, okay. So once you've taken them out, if you've got two or more, just give them a just give them a little bit of a twist with your pliers, just gently, just to tighten them back up, and then just fit them off into your USB power point, just as I'm about to do. Remove your cables. You just get your active, which is the red one, earth, which is the middle one, and neutral, which is your left one here. This is your new power point. All right. Just make sure you back off these three screws just so you can fit your cables in. All right. And you screw on the new power point and you put the cables in the terminals just make sure the terminal screw bites into the copper not the insulation of the cable okay So once you've got all your cables in, it should look something like that. Every power point's a little bit different, but the wiring should be basically the same. Just give them a tug on each one, your active, neutral, and earth. Okay, 
and you want to screw it back to the wall. So just remove this cover, okay? Just use these two outside screws to screw it back to the wall. In my case, I've already got some spares from the last power point. They're in fairly good condition. So just recess it back into the wall gently. Like so. Let's get one screw in first. Get the other one in. So, just make sure your power point's fairly level, okay? And then you just want to whack the cover on, okay? So that's how you change the power point, guys. So once you turn the power on, okay? Let's grab your multimeter again. Go to the AC symbol with the wave. Don't go to the other one, because that's for DC, like for batteries and things. So once you turn your power on, hit the switchboard, come back. Voltage AC, put one pin of your multimeter in your active, one in your neutral, and you should read 230 volts, okay? I haven't turned my power on yet, so I've got zero volts, but you should have 230 volts once you turn your power on, okay? And then if you pull it out of your neutral, put it in your earth, you should have 230, okay? And if you pull it out of your active and put it in your neutral, you should have zero, okay? And then that way you know if you have all those readings, that way you know your power point's wired correctly and you haven't put a cable in the wrong terminal, all right? So thanks for watching, guys. That was just a quick demonstration of how to change a power point to USB one. If you've got any suggestions for future videos, let me know. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.